I've got this amazing new product just for you. Come check it out. Dishwashing. It's one of those things that everybody has to do but nobody likes doing. Uh, of course humans have come up with a very smart solution to this age-old problem, the dishwasher. But is using a dishwasher actually more efficient when it comes to time and water use? Or is it mostly just something people try to sell you and they just make up these lies to sell you more stuff? Well, I'm going to test this out in this video. I'm going to compare dishwashing by hand to dishwashing with a machine. And I'm also going to share a little trick with you that can make this boring task much easier. So this may sound like a silly question, right? Well, of course it's more efficient to let the machine do the work. But if you really think about it, first you have to pre-wash the dishes because most dishwashers can't handle a lot of uh, food leftovers then the filters will get stuck and they won't wash properly. So first you have to pre-wash all the dishes before putting them in the machine. And then also a lot of the pots and bigger stuff you wash by hand anyway, because they take so much space in the machine, so it will be inefficient to fill up the machine with big pots. And then afterwards you also have to take the dishes out again. So in the end it's still several steps of work whoops, to get the dishes clean. The only way to be sure of which method is more efficient is by simply testing it out. I have filled up this dishwasher with dirty dishes. And I'm going to wash them by hand and I'm going to measure exactly how much time I use and how much water I use. So the first round is going to be the pre-washing round and I'm going to fill up this sink with clean water. After that I'll empty it out and fill it up with soap water to really clean the dishes. And then in the end I'll fill it again with some clean water to rinse them off. So as you can see, after the final rinse, the water is almost completely clear, so the dishes should be clean. So as you can see, I used about 15 liters of water to do the dishes by hand, and it took me 3 minutes to pre-wash them, 8 minutes to wash them with soap, and another 3 minutes to rinse them in the end. So in total I used about 14 minutes to do one load of dishes by hand. So let's compare this to a dishwasher. I figured out that the average dishwasher uses about 23 liters of water per load. But you still have to wash some of the dishes by hand anyway, like big pots, and you also have to pre-wash some of the dishes. So I'm adding another 5 liters to this number, just to be fair. When it comes to time use, I think it takes about 2 minutes to put everything in the machine neatly. And then it maybe takes about 5 minutes to pre-wash and to wash the stuff that can't go in the machine. So in total it takes maybe about 7 minutes per load. So let's compare these numbers. When it comes to water use, there's a clear winner here, and that is washing by hand. 14 liters versus 28 liters, that's almost double the water. Of course there are different techniques for washing by hand. Uh, you can easily use a lot more water if you, for example, keep the tap running the whole time. But if you try to be efficient, you can use a lot less water than a dishwasher would have. When it comes to time use, it's maybe not surprising that letting the machine do part of the work is more efficient and takes less time for you. But a small factor to take into account is that in order to have a dishwasher, you first have to work for a certain amount of hours to make the money to buy it. 
So that's also a little bit of time, uh, but divided over many years, which hopefully a dishwasher will last for many years, it's not a big number. So yes, a dishwasher takes a little bit less time to use than washing dishes by hand. But there's also other factors to take into account, like for example, the resource use, all the resources that are used to produce a dishwasher, and also the energy use to get the dishwasher running and to dry out the dishes. While if you wash dishes by hand, you can just let them air dry, so you don't have to spend any energy on drying them. So what is the best solution here? Is it doing the dishes by hand or is it using a dishwasher? Well, actually, I think there's an even better system that you can use. That is super simple. It will save you time and it will save you the headache of doing a huge load of dishes. And that is simply washing the dishes after using them immediately. If you eat some food, afterwards you just go and wash your plate, you wash your utensils, and then you just put them there and let them air dry. So in this way, you will never build up a huge load of dishes. It only takes about 20 seconds to, to wash your stuff quickly, and you don't have to think anymore about it. This is the kitchen of our cabin, and here there's no running water, so all the water we use we have to get out of the nearby creek. And then we fill up this tank here, the water runs down and comes out of the tap, and then afterwards it's collected in a bucket. So when we're here it's important to use as little water for dishwashing as possible. And we're trying to get better at this and immediately wash our dishes after using them, but it's pretty hard to do it consistently and we're still working on it. So if you're able to wash your dishes every time right after using them, it will make everything much easier. But then again, of course, you might be thinking, well, I don't always feel like washing my dishes right after using them. Sometimes I'm just in a good conversation or I just want to relax or I want to do something else and I don't feel like doing the dishes right then. Well, if this is the case, then you might still be building up a pretty big pile of dishes anyway, even if you're planning on washing them immediately. And I know I'm experiencing this myself, it's really hard to do this consistently and usually it ends up with a big load of dishes that has to be washed anyway. But I have another trick for this. And that is to simply only have one set of dishes per person in the house available at one time. So in this way you're not able to use any more dishes because there are none. You're gonna have to wash your dishes before you can use them again. And of course you can have some extra dishes stacked away somewhere in case you have guests. But if you only have just one set of dishes available per person at a time, it basically forces you to, to use the system where you wash them right after use or right before use. And this way you cannot physically build up a large pile of dishes. It saves you a lot of time. You maybe spend like, I don't know, half a minute a day doing the dishes and that's it. And the thing is, if you wash dishes right after using them, it's a lot easier to wash them and it uses much less water. And that is because when the food and leftovers dry on, on the plates and on the glasses and stuff, it will get stuck and it will take a lot more scrubbing and a lot more water and time to rinse them. But if you wash them right after use, everything is still moist and it's very easy to get rid of it. So this way it saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of water and it saves you the headache of a large pile of dishes. So in conclusion, is there any point to owning and using a dishwasher or is it better to just keep it simple and wash everything by hand? I think in most cases, washing by hand is the best solution if you're able to do it in an efficient way and if you're able to be efficient with your use of dishes. In some cases, a dishwasher can be nice to have. Uh, if you have a lot of people using dishes, for example, it will save you a lot of time. But generally, I think keeping it simple is the best solution here. And then you also avoid the hassle of having to own and maintain a dishwasher, to clean it, to fix it if it breaks, and you avoid using the resources to produce the dishwasher in the first place. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you think a dishwasher is unnecessary or would you rather not live without it? Let me know. And if you have any other ideas or tips on this topic, 
share them down in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.